right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem Rakan Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth to rule well. And to the brothers out there teaching according to the doctrine of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and not according to their own hearts, I say Shalom. So I wanted to get judgment, all right? I'm probably going to title this uh, lesson judgment. You know, and I'm going to go into the word and then similar scriptures, you know, um, since I'm over here driving, can't really go into anything. <clears throat> uh, but I'm going to start off with Proverbs 21 and 3. It says, um, it's like, let me start off over here at uh, verse 2. It says, every way of a man is right in his own eyes. All right. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes. All right, so you might have people that, you know, come into this truth and, you know, um, they feel like, okay, well, I know this and, you know, since I know this and the Most High is dealing with me and, you know, you start parting ways from, from the original teachings, which is at Great Millstone, you know, and, you know, people start, start going their own ways and doing their own thing, corrupting their minds and their hearts, man, you know, which the, the word heart and mind are, are the same thing. You know, so <clears throat> they start corrupting themselves with different types of doctrines and different types of, you know, uh, uh, philosophies and, you know, perverting the scriptures with their own uh, uh, minds and their own, you know, deceit, their own uh, lusts, you know. So that's why Proverbs 21 and 2 says every way of a man is right in his own eyes, you know, because in their own eyes, they're like, well, you know, I believe and I feel like, but what does scripture say? The heart is deceitful above all things. Who can know it? All right. So your mind is deceitful above everything else, man. You know, it's deceitful and it can clearly lie to you, man. If you picture, you know, your house or your apartment, say it's a 322 uh, Cypress Lane or whatever the hell, you know, just made that off, made that off of the top of my head. Um, you can easily pervert it in your mind into saying, you know, like a 311 Cypress Lane. You know, you can easily pervert things in your mind, man. Easily. You know, you might see a, a, a truck or a car. You know, for instance, today I saw this truck that I was really interested in. All right. I stopped off at the gas station and I saw this truck and I liked it, you know, and I, I need a truck. So I was trying to look it up and try and buy one similar you know, and I read what kind of truck it was and I read everything, you know, as I saw it and I try to remember it. <clears throat> and as I'm driving off to work, you know, um, and I get to work and I look it up and I was like, damn, what is the name of that truck? You know, and in my mind, I'm like, okay, well, I saw a Toyota symbol. All right. That's what my, what my mind told me. My mind told me it was a Toyota symbol and I can clearly see the Toyota symbol in the, in the truck. All right. But I remember the name of the actual truck. When I look up the name of the truck, I find out it wasn't a Toyota. It was a it was a Nissan, you know. So I was like, well, goddamn, you know, I clearly saw it in my head as a Toyota. But there's no such thing as a Toyota uh, Frontier, you know, it was a Nissan Frontier. So I was like, man, that was, you know, my mind was easily corrupted, man. You know. So it says every way of a man is right in his own eyes. You know, easily corrupt, corrupted, man. You know, the heart is the heart is wicked above all things, man. Who can know it? Who can know but the creator himself? You know, that's why he knows. And that's why he laid everything down the way he, he laid everything down, man. So salvation is for those that were meant to be saved. You know, it says, uh, but Yahweh pondereth the hearts. Let's look up that word pondereth. And then we'll get into verse three. It says, uh, pondereth, which is the Hebrew word, chakan, oh, thakan, salaki, thakan. And it says, to regulate, measure, estimate, ponder, balance. All right, the most high is the one that controls it, man. To level, to weigh, to be equal, to be weighed out. All right, the most high knows the mind. You know, that's why you can't hide anything from the most high, man. He knows the hearts of men, as scripture says, you know. So verse three, it says to do justice 
and judgment is more acceptable unto the most high than sacrifice all right to do justice and judgment is more acceptable unto yahweh than sacrifice all right so that's what the most high is looking for man and he constantly tells you before uh the so-called new testament all right which is uh you know the the new covenant really hasn't hasn't started all right we're in the period of mercy but the new covenant hasn't started according to jeremiah 31 and 31 the new covenant would be the laws in our inward parts you know that's when the curses are done away with man the curses aren't done away with when you come into this truth all right but it says uh to do justice and judgment is more perfect uh more acceptable salakia to yahweh than sacrifice all right so the most high doesn't you know uh before the new testament yahweh would say you know rend your heart not your garments all right put away the old man all right repent with fasting with weeping and mourning turn to me with all your heart which means mind you know the most high was already telling you about what was to come man you know that's what he's always wanted he wants a sincere a sincere follower man just like us you know we don't want we want sincere brothers we want somebody that's going to be around us sincerely all right because they want to be around us we don't want a bunch of mindless gooks a bunch of mindless dumbasses you know just following us like little robots so those type of kiss asses those people get fucking annoying man you know those type of people get fucking annoying you know the kiss asses that are only doing it for their own benefit and they don't give two shits about you you know those are the two-thirds man the two-thirds don't give a damn about Bashim Yahushai. they don't care about the holy spirit they don't care about the prophets they just care about themselves man you know they're not looking to be uh uh living in justice and in judgment what do they say what's the most famous line you hear a bunch of christians say you know only god can judge me you can't judge me don't judge people well scripture says you have to judge according to righteousness man you know so it's not according to feelings you see so that's what that's what the most high takes pleasure in people to that people that do justice and judgment you see so let's look up that word judgment and we'll go to leviticus <coughs> judgment and the word judgment in the hebrew is strong's h 49 4941 and it's mashapat mashapat all right the valley of of uh um decision all right the valley of judgment mashapat means judgment you know and uh yahweh shapat that's the name of the of, of that place you know which is uh which is to say Yahweh's judgment you know the most high is going to judge the nations man all right Yahweh shapat jehoshaphat all right it says uh the word judgment means justice ordinance all right ordinance let's look up that word ordinance it says a piece of legislation enacted by a municipal municipal uh authority all right it's like yeah. um you know uh ordained by yahweh shai you know in order all right it says act of deciding a case all right with a judge the head judge being yahweh you know and we're going to be a kingdom of priests a bunch of judges you know king david prophesied about the judges of the earth you know the kings of the earth the judges of the earth that are going to rule over the earth man it says uh a process procedure uh litigation execution of judgment all right who's going to execute judgment the most high the most high is going to execute judgment he's going to do it through his men also you know so let's go down here it says uh leviticus what was it what was it 
19, I believe. This is Leviticus 19 and 37. Therefore shall ye observe all my statutes and all my judgments and do them. I am Yahweh, the Most High, saying this, man. You know? He's saying to do all his statutes. All right? Let's look up that word statutes. A written law passed by a le legislative body. You know? Let's look up uh, legis legislation or legislative to get a deeper understanding. Legislation is the act of making or enacting laws, a law or a body of laws in, in take, in, enacted. All right. So Yahweh Shem Shai has set up this this uh, uh, the the holy book, all right, the Bible. He set it up with a bunch of rules and regulations and laws and and, and uh, um, statutes. You know, those are things that ought to be performed by Israelites, seeing that we are the holy people, the chosen people of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You know. So we ought to act like it, man. Let's look at the thesaurus. A bill, an act, charter, constitution, measure, regulation. All right? Regulations, like I mentioned a minute ago or a second ago. You know? These are regulations we ought to follow, man. All right? Let's look up that word regulation. It's a lucky. Uh, regulation, definition, a law, rule, or other order prescribed prescribed by authority especially to regulate conduct you know you should follow after judgment man you know be afraid of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai so let me read that again Leviticus 19 and 37 therefore shall ye observe all my statutes all of them man all of them observe them you know and all my judgments and do them you see, and this is towards the, the house of Israel, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and to the scattered abroad, man. You know? If you believe in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and you believe Yahweh Shai came in the flesh, all right? And you believe that Yahweh Shai is a so-called Negro, you know? You believe in this truth. You believe in the Bible 100%, no doubt. And you're an Israelite, man. You know? And you ought to follow Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. The correct doctrine you see it says uh leviticus 20 and 22 ye shall therefore keep all my statutes and all my judgments you see so he said it again it says and do them it says that the land whether i bring you uh to dwell in to dwell therein spew you not out all right and why do you think we were kicked out of our land man because we didn't keep the law statutes and commandments you know? Because our people are a bunch of sottish children, man. Like it says in Jeremiah 4. Foolish, man. Stupid. You know? They want to do their own thing. You know? They don't care about Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. They're not afraid of judgment, man. They're not afraid. You know? But when that time comes and Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai reveals themselves, they're going to be crying, man. You know? Much like the rich man in, in uh, the parable in Luke 16, you know, with the rich man and Lazarus, you know, they're going to be crying just like that rich man. All right. Granted that Lazarus represents Israel. All right. And we are going to be comforted finally, you know, in the kingdom, you know, because nobody cares about us. Only Yahab Hashem Shai cares about us, man. It says, um, for I am Yahweh, your God. You see? The Most High is your God, man. Not these fucking Edomites that you pray to, you know? Not these cars that you, you're worshiping, these women. Those aren't your gods, man. You have one and only true God, man. There's only one and only true God. And he's the God of everything. All right, and that's Yahweh the Most High. 
you know but he's dealing with Israel right now he's dealing only with Israel in the sense of um, you know being his people all right in the kingdom Israel's going to be the top of the top you see and all these other nations they're going to bow down to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai you know but because Israel's going to be on top and the promise is finally going to come so if I get a chance let me see so like it all right let's get this one right here it says uh Leviticus 24 and 22 ye shall have one manner of law now check out that word law because it's the same thing as judgment you see it's the same thing as judgment man that word law means judgment all right so the most high is going to judge you it says uh ye shall have one manner of law as well for the stranger as for one of your own country for i am yahweh your power all right so let me jump down to what you would call the so-called new testament it's like yet bear with me let me look up that word judgment again jump down let's go to the gospels treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things all right a good man out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things you know out of the good pleasure of the heart bringeth forth good things it says and an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things but i say unto you that every idle word that man shall speak they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment all right by thy words that shall be justified and by thy words that shall be condemned all right so the things that you speak man so when you come up against the elder apostle tahar elder apostle gabar elder apostle raka all right the brothers when you come against the body of you how about shimia was shy and you you tell people that they don't know what the fuck they're talking about all right you ignore uh reproof you ignore rebuke you know when you ignore all these things that, that make a righteous man righteous, you know, those are idle words, man. You know, those are words that are condemning you. You know, it says, uh, let's look up that word judgment. <coughs> and then we'll look up that word condemned. All right. So that word judgment is crisis which sounds like crisis you know you know when people are in a in a tough situation it says uh crisis it says uh a separating sundering separation judgment selection a trial a contest opinion or decision given concerning anything all right and they want to put opinion in that but it's not an opinion, man. All right? It's a fact. What Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has spoken, that's a fact. All right? It's not an opinion. Whenever 
you know that they say that there's two sexes in the world male and female that's a fact that's not an opinion all right that's not how we feel that's a fucking fact man if you're born a hermaphrodite all right you're born with male and female traits all right but there's still two male and female you know bunch of idiots man then they're not scared of judgment they're not scared of the most high man you know it's kind of like when you're at home alone you know you're not afraid of of opening up the bag of chips you're not afraid of spilling the milk you know you're not afraid of kicking your feet up on the on the uh on the couches with your shoes on full of mud you're not afraid of anything you know but as soon as your parents get home Oh, your ass is getting up and starting to clean, man, because you're afraid. That's the same thing. When you hear them keys, you know, unlocking the door, when you hear that door opening, you're going to bust ass and try to clean everything in one second, you know? And that's the same thing that's going to happen when you see your Habashimi Shai crack them clouds, man. You're going to be afraid for your life, you know? Like it says in uh, Ezra 13, you know? Everybody's gonna come up against you. How about Shimia was shot? And they're gonna be sore afraid, man. But yes, dur but yet durst fight. All right. You're still gonna try and resist it. You're still gonna try and fight the fact that you fucked up. You know. And I'm, right now, I'm just speaking to uh, Israelites. Them Edomites, man. They're gonna see judgment for sure. These other nations are gonna see judgment. You know. But this is mainly towards the house of Israel. So it says, uh, Zalagia, bear with me. Uh, sentence of condemnation, damnatory judgment, condemnation, <clears throat> and punishment. It says, the college, the college of judges all right the college of judges what is a college let's look up that word it says an educational institution or establishment all right so a college of judge of, of judges is an institution of judges is israel not an institution of judges all right have we not always been that institution of judges judges of the earth you know like I made mention earlier so it says it's like it uh, a tribunal of seven men in the several cities of Palestine as distinguished from the Sendrin which had its seat at Jerusalem. It says right, all right? Point blank period, something that's right. That's judgment, correct, all right? And accepting correction, that's judgment, you know? Wishing for discipline, to be corrected, you know? That's righteous, man, that's righteous. To be corrected by Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, he's not gonna come to you in a dream, you know? He might. All right, but I'm saying he's not going to come to you in a dream and start speaking to you in Hebrew and you're going to understand everything. And he's going to be like, you know, brother, so and so you need to, you know, get up and go do this. And I'm only dealing with you right now. And this, this, no, he's going to speak to you through what? Through the prophets, you know, according to Hebrew one and one. He's always done that spoken through the prophets, you know. So that judgment has to play out, man. You know, and people don't like to like to hear it. People don't like to hear correction, man. They hate that shit. You know, they got itchy ears. They're tired of hearing you're doing this wrong. Do this. They're tired of hearing that shit, man. You know, and eventually it's gonna lead up to their destruction and to their demise. You know. Lock it, bear with me. God damn, man, you got everything breaking down here in Babylon. You know. Alright, 
it says uh get some some words over here um matthew 5 and 21 it says ye have heard that it was said by them of old time thou shalt not kill and that word kill does not mean uh ending somebody's life all right that word kill means murder all right that means taking an innocent life all right murder you know you have people that killed in self-defense man know which it wasn't bad you know it was justified now that doesn't mean you should go out there and start fucking killing people all right that does not mean to go out there and kill people be at peace with all men as much as life in you you know it says uh and whatsoever shall kill shall be in danger of judgment all right so whosoever murders you're going to be in danger of that judgment Lucifer you know because he exalted himself and he exalted his kingdom above everything else called himself to be higher than the most high you know try to make himself like unto the most high that's the same thing we see here in, in Babylon the great America you know this is the place of, of pleasure man you know and it exalts itself above heaven it says shall be brought down to hell that's the same thing we read in isaiah 47 and uh revelations 18 you know babylon the great is going to be humbled you know but even every other place that that makes itself and it exalts itself you know like scripture says um you know um uh exalt thyself and you shall be uh humbled you know exalt thyself and you shall be humbled man the most high is going to humble everything that exalts itself you know starting at the house of israel it says uh for if thy mighty works which have been done in thee had been done in sodom it would have remained remain until this day but i say unto you that it shall be more tolerable in the land of sodom in the day of judgment than for thee all right it's going to be more tolerable in the land of in, in the land of Sodom 
than it is here in America, man. You know? Because of the mighty works that were worked in you, man. Which is what? The prophets. The prophecies that were spoken by men. All right? These prophecies that are going to come to pass, man. We preach of repentance. Yes, we do. All right? But we also preach and teach and prophesy of the coming destruction. All right? If you do not get right. And again, I'm speaking unto the house of Israel. You know? Because that's where judgment starts. And really, those are the only people that can get right. You know, it's going to be 144,000, as the scripture says. All right. Elect men. And then there's going to be a great multitude, you know. But it's all going to be Israel. All Israelites. 144,000 are men. And the great multitude is friends of the prophets, women, children. But they're all Israelites, you know. So that judgment is coming, man. You know. So repent. And then looking into that word repent also. Salakia. Try and get it before traffic starts moving. Uh, jump down. Because Yahweh Shai preached repentance. You know? Said repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You know? second bear with me all right it says uh revelations 2 and 16 repent or else i come unto thee quickly and i will fight against them with the sword of my mouth so let's look up that word repent to change one's mind to repent to change one's mind for better uh, heartily to amend with abhorrence of one's sin all right of one's past sin to abhor it says a feeling of repulsion disgusted lo uh, loathing all right you have to be disgusted with yourself man you have to feel that remorse know that you fucked up all right and hate that shit man you're supposed to hate evil you know abhor that which is evil and cleave unto that which is good you know as the book of romans says so we're supposed to hate the evil shit man so if you ever did sins which is what a transgression of the law according to first john chapter three you know sin is a transgression of the law so that means what that means we're supposed to hate everything that transgresses the law of yahweh and yahweh shot you know, the scripture is, is it, 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 sometimes it's, it's difficult and sometimes it's just so perfectly clear, man, you know, but that's why Yahweh Hashem Yahweh has set up men and men above men, you know, so when something is questioned, it goes through a rank of, of, of a chain of command, you know, and things are clarified, man, you know, there's an order to everything, man. And like scripture says, let everything be done in decency and in order. All right. So for somebody claiming to be something that they're not and somebody claiming to be above, you know, the apostles and the elders, that's out of order. You know, for women to be speaking up against men, you know, in general, you know, but mainly in this truth, that's out of order for women to be prophesying. That's out of order, man. You know out of order so the feeling of repulsion and disgusted loathing man that's what it means to uh, abhor one one's past sins you know hate you know to think differently or afterwards uh reconsider morally feel uh compunction repent you know so this is, uh, that's the one that I was talking about earlier. Let me finish with this one, actually. Matthew 3 and 2, and Saint Salaki, let me go in verse 1. In those days came John the Baptist, all right, which was Elijah through the reincarnation, and he is Elijah, you know. It says, in those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea 
and saying, repent ye. All right, repent ye. Who was he speaking to? Who was he speaking to? To the Israelites, you know? For the kingdom of heaven is at hand, you know? So you have to admit to your mistakes, man. You have to admit that you are sinning. Don't come here with that bullshit, you know, uh, Christian doctrine. And don't be adding on, adding on to the scriptures. You know? Oh, you know, it's against it's against the most high to not wear your fringes, man. You're going to hell. Not even knowing what hell means. You're going to get destroyed by the most high. You're going to see judgment. Not really understanding what it means, man. You know? So it says, in those days came John the Baptist. All right? John the Baptist was here, you know, to make way for the Lord. You know? Preaching repentance, you know, before the Lord uh, came up on the on, on his stead and on his lot of of um, um, of being that teacher, you know, that he is. So John the Baptist was was making ready the way, and guess what we're doing right now? The prophets, you know, Lord willing, I'm part of that number. But guess what the prophets are doing right now? They're making ready the way, you know, for Yahweh Shai to come back. And when he's coming back, he's not going to meet you as a man. When he's coming back, he's going to greet you, all right, with the sword, man. You know, with destruction, with death, with famine. Yahweh Shai is not coming back to play, man. He's coming back to establish judgment. So I hope that was edifying. And with that, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone, and double honors to... Um, you know, to our so like it, uh, to our elders and to our brothers out there preaching this word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom.